When it comes to signing paintings, I've gone through different phases, different ways of signing them. And depending on the subject matter or the style of the paintings, I don't necessarily sign them the same way. So today I thought I would show you a bunch of different ways that I sign paintings. If you want to go straight to that, you can go here to the timestamp. Because first I want to do a few bits. The first thing would be your opinion. I repotted these ginormous aloe plants and they're slouching on one side and the pot is really big i don't know what to do to prop them up what can i use to prop them up they're really heavy really big i don't know if i put a stake here how do i hold it up without damaging the leaves they look really sad right now but they're gorgeous and super healthy if you have a green thumb i need your help please help I'm about to start working in the studio. Today is a studio painting day. And I feel like the smart thing to do would be for me to work on one of the sunshine set on my paintings. But I don't feel like it for some reason. I love painting them, but they're a little more tricky. And today I feel like just not thinking and being in the moment and doing more abstract work or more loose kind of work. So I'm not sure exactly where it's going to go. I think I'm gonna start by doing some ink washes, like um, abstract florals. Yeah, black on white is always very calming for me. I'm gonna start with that and see where it goes.
There are many ways to sign a painting. In my opinion, there are no wrong ways to do it. It's your art, you do whatever you want, right? I feel it's mainly a question of personal taste, but here are a few ways to do it. Maybe it's going to give you new ideas you never thought of. I've tried most of these and maybe at the end I could talk about the way I do it, what I prefer and all that. The first way is the very classical standard way of doing it, signing the front of your painting, usually one of the lower corners and usually kind of hidden within the painting or at least not super bold or too big. So choosing a color that will fit the palette, that will have a little bit of contrast, not too much contrast so as not to distract from the art itself. And if you wanna keep things very traditional, you would sign your painting in the same medium you used for the painting. So oil paint, signing with oil paint, acrylic, acrylic, and so on. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that if you were to sign an acrylic painting with charcoal, it might be considered mixed media, technically, if you enter a contest or something like that. I sign acrylic painting with charcoal all the time. Some people put the year, some people don't. I tend to put the year but in Roman numerals. That's the very standard and dainty way to do it. But on the opposite end of the spectrum, there's the bold and loud way of signing a painting, which could also be very interesting. I personally think it goes with the scale of the canvas. So a really large canvas could handle, in my opinion, a, a larger signature to kind of fit the scale. But like I said, there's no rules. It's all a question of personal taste. On an abstract painting, for example, the name could be super bold, even in a different color, to really pop off the canvas. Some people even decide to use some kind of logo or symbol to sign their painting instead of using their name. It makes it less obvious that it's a signature and it gives it like an intriguing modern feel, maybe. A cool way to sign a painting is etching. So etching your name into the medium, adding a layer of paint and using a pointy tool or the tip of a paintbrush works really well. I use the etching technique in oil pastels all the time. I feel it's the best way to sign an oil pastel painting. It can also be used in watercolor, engraving your name with a pointy tool before starting to paint. And as washes of watercolor goes over the engraving, the name will pop. And when working on paper, another more subtle and classic way to sign a drawing would be to use a pencil. Some people don't like to sign their work on the front. A cool way to do it is to sign on the edges of the canvas. So at the bottom, on the top, on the side, whether it be by signing with a brush or etching. Some people also just sign the back of the canvas or drawing. I'm really on the fence about it. I haven't fully decided how I want to do it forever and if I want to do it only one specific way. I think one issue that I have is that I don't love my handwriting, my natural way of writing. I don't like it. So when I see a painting that I've worked on and I see my signature, it bugs me because I just don't like my handwriting. But also I find that a signature could be very distracting especially when it's minimal artworks or abstract works, depending on the type of work and the colors. And it depends on each art piece, I think. But what I've noticed is that many, many abstract artists don't sign their work on the front. And I find that I tend to do the same. So my abstract work, I don't think I've ever signed my abstract work on the front. I usually sign it on the side, usually under my canvas on the border. The etching method is my favorite or on the back. And most of my minimal artwork, I really don't sign it. And when I do sign the front, it's mainly more figurative artworks. And I try to have my signature as dainty and small as possible. I've done it bolder and bigger in the past to try to experiment and see how it felt because I think it could be quite interesting as well. But every time I did it, I was really annoyed at my signature and I wish I hadn't. Whatever I do though, I make sure that on the back of my drawing or canvas, I put my signature, the title of the work, the medium used and the size of the surface. 
Some people say you should always sign your signature in the front clearly so that people know it's your artwork and if you're very proud of your work, you'll want people to see your name and know that you did it. I personally think it's a little bit more subtle than that. For me, it doesn't have anything to do with being proud or not of my work. I feel like it really depends on the type of work and how much you love your own signature. Some people have a really cool way of writing their name. I don't know. They could sign it in red and it would look nice, but not me. I had a lot of fun doing those ink washes today. It was just what I needed. If you've never tried ink washes, it's really, really cool. I feel like the pigment flows so much better than watercolor. I have a feeling that the ink is kind of like an oily type of material and mixed with water it creates really interesting puddles the one i use today is by noble and it's a chinese ink i really like the flow of it the randomness and how the different transparencies work together it was super experimental i didn't work from reference i didn't have preconceived ideas of what i wanted i was kind of like going with the water puddles instinctively so some of them didn't quite work or i would have to rework them a little bit more for me to be satisfied but there's a couple that i kind of liked a lot that came out pretty nice if you like minimal art and abstract art i did a 30 day challenge a while ago here's the playlist there's 30 videos in there check it out it might give you good inspiration take a moment to subscribe i'd love to have you back thanks for watching i'll see you in just a few days for another one bye